Hello, fellow graduates, faculty, family, and friends. The story I'm going to tell you today begins 8,000 miles from here in a small rural town called Daliparu in India. Born into an agricultural household, my father has always been an entrepreneur in search of bigger things for his family. At a young age, he moved to Hyderabad, leaving behind a family business to pursue his own passion. He was neither bookish nor pedantic, but an innovative thinker with pioneering ideas. To me, growing up, my father was a visionary who dreamt of flying cars and supermarkets even before they were commercialized. Coming from a family of entrepreneurs, it was no surprise that I chose Babson. However, as an international student, moving across the world was daunting. Despite my initial fears, Babson slowly but surely became home. From Professor Rourke, who I'd like to call my American mom, helping me every step of the way, to Amman shows that reminded me of home. Multiple moments over the past four years have reminded me why Babson is so unique. I was able to stay true to myself by being engaged with my culture while also learning about those different from my own. But my love for Babson extends beyond this because even in the most unexpected situations, Babson always had my back. I always wear a Babson sweatshirt when I'm traveling, and you might wonder why. Let me give you one example. I was stranded in a London airport and hadn't slept for 36 hours. I was trying to get back to Boston to start a new internship. My flight first got delayed and then canceled. The airline crew was being extremely unresponsive, and I was getting increasingly frustrated. Luckily, a Babson alum saw me in my sweatshirt and stopped by to have a friendly conversation. Next thing I know, he was helping me find the best way to get back to Boston. Even when I was studying abroad, something was always missing. I used to talk about Babson so much that one day, a friend asked me, what do you miss about Babson? At first, I couldn't put it into words. But after some reflection, I found the perfect word, community. It was a sense of community from peers and professors who pushed me to my limits, to being a part of something bigger than myself. In fact, I even miss the mashed potatoes at Trim so much that I promised to never take any of it for granted when I came back for my senior year. And now, as I look back at my Babson journey, it is filled with years of learning, growth, and finding crucial parts of myself. While graduation is bittersweet, I would like to encourage everyone to find strength in our community. We have created a family that's beyond blood relation. Each of us could be thousands of miles apart, but we have homes in every single country, have arms waiting to hug us and eyes waiting to see us 365 days, all because of the fact that we went to a deeply loved institution like Babson. We are so incredibly lucky to be surrounded by people who care inspire and bring each other up. Where success has little meaning unless it involves those around you. Hence, I encourage you all to do two things. First, know your roots. The reason we are here is because of the hard work and vision of multiple generations before us. We can only build a better future by honoring the foundations that have been laid for us. Second, appreciate the people around you and be present while forming those relationships. Your actions in terms of relationships can have a far greater impact on at least one person's life than that Mac and Tom midterm you were stressing about. And you know, what's more remarkable than being able to code, build machines, and create billion dollar organizations? the ability to hold a pure and genuine conversation. If that Babson alum didn't care to strike a conversation, who knows how much longer I would have been stranded at that airport. 
And life would definitely not have come full circle when I coincidentally met him at a Babson networking event a whole year later. For so many, material acquisitions and monetary metrics drive our day-to-day -day lives. Yet, our world needs more of people who prioritize others, who prioritize relationships. This is the fabric and foundation of our communities. And on that note, I would like to conclude with something my parents have always told me. Opportunities come and go, but the relationships we neglect building might be lost forever. Invest in making meaningful relationships. You won't regret it. Congratulations, class of 2019. Here's to 100 years of Babson and hundreds of more continuing its legacy.